wind down, but you'll see states have already preemptively banned any gas bans. There's about 20 of them, led by Texas, trying to stop the Californians and New Yorks of the world from stopping new construction includes natural gas. Or will be a state by state kind of rollout. Exactly. So you don't see one at all in these bands. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, use your vents if you have one. It's a good idea. Children away. It is a good you idea. Make more of those cold turkey and cheese sandwiches that I turn to when I'm not cooking all the time. I'll just be honest. We we'll call it the Diana. I'll have a Diana with mayo. Oh, we didn't make cold turkey sandwiches. Like that. Oh, we're thank you. Um, we're so we've had cold turkey sandwiches before. Well, mm -hmm. today doctors are removing a small lesion of a first lady Joe Biden's eye. It was discovered recently during a routine skin cancer exam. Doctors recommended it be removed out of an abundance of caution. So let's bring in CNN medical correspondent Dr. Tara Nabula. Uh, Tara, good to see you. So Biden is having something known as a low surgery. Tell us what that is. Yeah, so many Americans may not be familiar with this, but it's actually a very common procedure and way to treat skin cancers, particularly basal cell and squamous cell, which are the most common. And really what happens is that dermatologists who are specially trained, they do advanced training to become most surgeons, uh, take the patient to their office. In the office setting, they will remove the cancer with a special technique where they then take the tissue, freeze it, put it under a microscope in the office while the patient is waiting and examine it section by section um, until they have taken enough of the tissue that they are sure that the margins are clear. Um, and the reason this is such a nice procedure is because really everything happens in this one instance. Um, the patient has the cancer removed, the tissue is examined to make sure margins are clear, and then the cancer, the incision is really closed at that same time by the dermatologist uh, in most instances. And the success rate for this is really 99% for first-time cancers in terms of getting all the cancer and 94% for recurrent cancers. Um, so it's kind of a one-stop procedure. It usually takes a couple hours. Risks are really minimal, uh, type of bleeding, infection, but uh, very well tolerated and typically used, as you mentioned, in areas like the eyes, the face, the hands, or even the genitals, where there's not a lot of skin to make a closure, so you want a very, uh, a very fine technique where you're taking oh, section oh, by section and not a big, wide excision, um, and also areas where you want minimal scarring, um, so that's where the Mohs comes in handy. And we should just remind viewers again that Dr. Biden's um, prognosis is a good one. Uh, just a question for viewers, though, how often should we be getting checked for skin cancer? So that's another really interesting question, and, and what's interesting about that is the fact that the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force and the American Cancer Society really have not come down in terms of saying that people should get screened. They said there's really insufficient evidence to promote that. That being said, home skin care checks are going to certainly if you're higher risk, someone who has that history of uh, skin cancer themselves, family history, or high sun exposure, you should talk to your doctor about getting checked more frequently. High sun exposure? Nope, not here. Some good advice there, as always, Dr. Taryn Nabula. Thank you. And now to a wonderful back. update on Buffalo Bill safety to Bar Hamlin. The team revealing a short time ago that he is play. now out of the hospital. Hamlin had suffered cardiac arrest on the field just last week against the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, the Bills the water has a little like. on and moments later. Oh. And Hamlin recovered oh, much faster oh, yeah. than the doctors had expected. He was transferred from Cincinnati to the hospital in Buffalo one day. Doctors now say it's safe for him to continue his recovery from home. The Bills head coach says the team will welcome Hamlin back whenever he is ready. We are all rooting for him. An incredible recovery. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 oh, miles with an no offer warranty <laughs> about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. So Due to the current the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost, multi-month oh, vehicle yeah. protection plan yeah. that is now available to the public to save any driver oh, out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correct. Um, pay I've almost got nothing for covered auto repairs. My problem is going to be that, I don't know, by the time we make it over to that area, traffic is going to be ugly, and we would only, you know, load, this load is not doing so, one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So I would just be burning my hours to get to Montana, and for us to get up in the morning to go to Maricopa, but I'd rather just uh, direct the city to take the 210 to the 10 East and 60 East. Hundred and sixty miles before we have to go, so I'd rather just go in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Because we should have about 